Hi students, welcome to 9th and 10th channel. All of you are achievers and I am your teacher Ankita. In today's session, there is something really very interesting that we will be discovering. Or I would say, there is a myth that we will be busting. So the myth that we will be looking today is that all plant tissues are living. Yes, when we talk about the plants, we say that they are living. In today's session, we will be trying to bust out that myth. So, we will be talking about that are all plant tissues are living? Now that we are clear that what we'll be learning in today's class, let's get started. When we talk about Baiju's, we have amazing programs for all of you. This time around, we have Baiju's mini learning program. Now, if you use the code YTFREE, you will be able to avail the interesting and super important offer. In this particular Baiju's mini learning program, we have two teacher model where of course two teacher will be teaching you. We have mentors and of course we have classes and these classes timings you can choose according to your convenience. So this is really very important. Apart from that you will be able to get quizzes and tests that actually help us to practice our concepts. So don't forget to use the code YTFREE. The link of this is in the description box below so you can definitely try out these classes and of course this offer is there for the limited time only. Now that we are clear with this, let's move ahead and let's talk about our telegram group. I hope that you have joined the telegram group because we always post a revision question, homework questions and of course the session notes. Now the link of the group is in the description box below so you can definitely go out there and join the group. Now that we have introduced ourselves and everything is clear, now let's talk about our beautiful trees. Now, when we talk about the trees, we see them green, right? And we always call them living organism. Yes, of course, they are living. But you know that the 99% right, of the tree is kind of not so alive. Yes. The secret behind these long, beautiful trees is dead and yet alive. So we will be trying to looking for this, right? When we talk about the trees, of course, we can see that they have beautiful green leaves, they have fruits, right? Apart from that, they have this huge trunk, right? And I'm sure when we are talking about these tissues which are living or which are dead, I'm sure you have something in your mind, right? Let's move there. So let's quickly discuss about the different types of plant tissue that we have in plants. We have first the meristematic tissue which is definitely living. Now these tissue have a super special power of dividing continuously throughout their life and they will be dividing. Apart from the meristematic tissue, we have another type that is permanent tissue. And as the name suggests, permanent means that they will not be dividing after attaining a certain stage and of course, they will have a very specific function. Now, the transition from the meristematic to permanent tissue occurs, of course, by a process called as the differentiation. So, the, these meristematic tissues will be undergoing differentiation and of course, will be dividing into different types of other tissues. Now, these tissues will have a very specific function. Now, this is really very important. So, from the meristematic tissue, we'll see the differentiation and from there, we'll see the formation of permanent tissue. In the permanent tissue, when we talk about, we have simple permanent tissue. Now, simple permanent tissue. In this category, we have these tissues and these all are made up of only one type of cells is really very important for all of us to get registered to. So in simple permanent tissue, the cells will be same. So we have parenchyma, right? Of course, over here we can see they have a lot of intercellular spaces. Their walls are really very thin and they are the living and of course they have the place for the storage. Then of course we have colenchyma. They have thick corners, right? And of course, they helps in the flexibility in the plants. Then we have scleronchyma. Now this of course, over here is a dead tissue. Yes, this is important. So over here we have simple permanent tissue in that we have scleronchyma, which is a dead tissue. Now as a cell die, right over here, we can see there is a formation, right? Of course, we have this chemical, which is the lignin. 
which will be forming over here, right? And of course, and that's how these are dead. So over here in sclera and chyma, we have the dead cells. So this is really very important. From simple permanent tissue, we know that sclera and chyma is dead. Now let's talk about very interesting. That is complex permanent tissue. In that we have xylem and phloem. Now xylem plays a very important role in the conduction of water and minerals from the roots to the different parts of the plants. Then we have phloem which plays a very important role in the translocation of the food or we can say in the movement of the food in both the direction. So this is the complex permanent tissue. In complex permanent tissue we have the tissues but they are made up of different types of cells. Now that we have said it has different types of cells, let's look into the structure of these. So first we are talking about the structure of the xylem. Over here we can see the structure of the xylem, right? And when we talk about it, it has xylem parenchyma, which is a living tissue. Then we have xylem vessel, tracheids and xylem fiber. All these three are non-living. This is super important. We are talking about that our plants made up of living tissues only. Over here we can see that they are made up of non-living tissues also. So over here we have xylem vessels, tracheids and xylem uh, fiber that are made up of, of course they are the non-living tissues. And of course xylem fiber plays a very important role in providing the support to the xylem. Then let's take a look at the phloem. Now in phloem, we know that it plays a very important role in the uh, translocation of the food. In this, we have phloem fiber which is non-living. Oh, over here, I'm writing it's non-living. Phloem parenchyma, sieve tubes and companion cells all are living. So it's the opposite that we see in the xylem. So phloem have more of the living tissues and in xylem we have more of the non-living tissues. So we can clearly see that we have living and as well as non-living tissues. And these plays a very important role in providing the strength to the plant. Basically, they help in pro uh, providing the protection to the plants and of course the strength. So we can easily say that the dead cells that are present in the plants are protecting and keeping the trees alive. Now in case of xylem, we know that it actually helps in the conduction of water and minerals and phloem plays a very important role in the translocation of food. And there we have phloem fiber which actually gives the strength to the phloem. So we can say that dead cells are the protectors over here. Now let me ask you a very interesting question. Now not just the, uh, apart the xylem and phloem and other that we have discussed, we have other dead tissues in the plants. So you can write the answer in the comment section below and do let us know that what are the other tissues that are dead in the plants and provide the protection to the trees. Over here, let me just give you a hint that they are present over here. So we will be looking for your answers. Now that we are done with this, let's quickly go back that you can definitely use the code which is YG3 and you can try out the amazing classes that we have. With this, we are done and you know that we have got you covered. Don't forget to hit the like button for the video, share with your friends and subscribe to your own channel which is 9th and 10th. Ask your friends to join. Let's increase our family. With this, we are done. Hope to see you in the next class. Till that time, take care of yourself. Lots of love and keep on learning with Baijus.